my name is Natalie Collier, and today I would like to tell you how a girl becomes a law. There's lots of steps on how a girl becomes a law, but it is very important to know that all that all laws begin as bills, and all bills begin as ideas. Now, you have your idea up here at the top, and pretty much your idea can come from anyone. Anyone in your district can call up to their local congressman and pitch the idea. That's how that pretty much starts. Anyway, your idea is going to get sent to your house, the House of Representatives, and it's going to get sent to the Senate. Now over here, I'm going to start with the House of Representatives. And after it goes to the House, it's going to go to leadership, which is, in this case, it's the Speaker of the House. And pretty much what the Speaker of the House does is they just read it, and they assign it to a committee. It's very important to assign it to the right committee because at the wrong committee it's not going to do well and it won't pass. Or anyway, once it gets to the committee, the committee can either they can vote no, they can sit on it, which is wait, and it will end, or they could vote yes. And if they vote yes, then it goes down to the floor. And the floor, they can vote no, they can sit on it or wait, or they can vote yes. Now I'm going to go over here to the Senate. At the Senate, it goes down to leadership, and then it goes to the committee where they can vote no, sit on it, or they can say yes. And after it leaves the committee, if the, if the committee, if the committee <laughs> votes yes, it goes to the floor. At the floor, they can sit on it, they can say no, or they can say yes. And here's where the two of them come together. You take members of the House and some members of the Senate and bring them here into what is called a joint committee. Now, at the joint committee, they can vote no, or they can sit on it, or they can vote yes. Now, a lot of times, whenever you get down to the joint committee, they don't ever really sit on it and they don't really vote no. Because in order to get to the committee, you gotta think. Goes yes all the way through here. And it goes yes all the way through here. So why get down here and then they say no? That's why I usually vote yes. Okay. Anyway, once if they say yes, it goes back up to the floor for the rest of the floor to vote on. After the floor votes on it, if they say yes, it goes up to the president. And then the president has two options. Really, he can say no or veto it, and it'll go back down to the floor for to get to try and get majority of the votes, try and get it passed anyway. Or what the what he can do is he can say yes, and it'll become a law. Those are pretty much his two choices. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this speech of how a girl becomes a law. Thank you.